doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for taking a couple minutes and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make smoked jalapeno and cheese sausage roll. Now, they call this a lot of different things, and there's a lot of variations. Uh, they usually call it a fatty. And a fatty is basically when you take some sausage, it could be Italian sausage, breakfast sausage, you know, you name it, or even a combination of sausage and ground beef, and you roll it up with uh, and stuff something inside. Usually some kind of cheese, you can do spinach, you can do sauteed vegetables. What I'm doing today is kind of like a stuffed, uh, you know, jalapeno popper uh, roll here because I'm going to take uh, some jalapeno peppers. I got three here. I'm going to uh, dice up and we're going to mix it with some regular old cream cheese and some uh, sharp cheddar cheese and we're going to stuff this sausage roll uh, with the uh, this mixture and then I'm going to wrap it in bacon and then I'm going to put it on my pit barrel cooker and we're going to smoke it and during the last 10-15 minutes of cooking we're going to coat some barbecue sauce on it it's going to be absolutely delicious so stick around I'm going to show you how to do this step by step let's get cooking Alright, the first thing we want to do is to mix the cheese and jalapeno mixture that we're going to stuff in the sausage roll. Now I have one package of cream cheese that I've had sitting out for around an hour so it's a little bit nice and soft. Uh, to that, I'm going to add eh, just over a cup of uh, cheddar cheese. You don't need cheddar cheese, you can use whatever cheese you like. And then we're going to add, I have three diced up jalapenos. Be extra careful when you dice these up. I'm wearing disposable gloves. Make sure you don't wipe your eyes. Uh, I took all the seeds out because it's a little strong. Uh, but you know, if you like it a little hot, leave a few of the seeds in. And then you just want to sprinkle a little bit of your favorite barbecue rub. I'm using this Michigan maple from Seared, which I really enjoy. And you know, we don't have to put a whole lot. We just want to add a little bit of flavor. We're going to sprinkle a little bit on that sausage roll when we're done too. Okay, just like so. And then I think the easiest way to mix this is with your hands, and so that's why I'm wearing these gloves. We're just gonna kinda combine all this together. Try to make it evenly mixed. I'll be back in a second when this is all done. I'll kinda show you how it looks like. All right, so this is how it looks like when it's all mixed together. Now, we want to kind of put this in a roll shape to kind of harden up a little bit in the fridge. It's been sitting out for just over an hour. And so I got a piece of plastic wrap here. You can use foil, you can use whatever you want. We're going to just kind of put this in the middle of the plastic wrap and I'm just going to try to make it into like a little, little tube. that's going to be our stuffing for our sausage. I'm going to put a little bit more of the seasoning on it, just a little bit here, like so. And now I'm going to wrap it up in the saran wrap here, just like so. So there you go. I'm going to go put that in the fridge and we'll be back in a little bit to wrap this up in the sausage and then do a bacon weave. Be back in a little bit. Alright, so now it's time to flatten out this sausage. Like I told you before, I got a two pound uh, thing here of Jimmy Dean regular pork sausage, okay? Now, I've laid out a piece of parchment paper. You can use parchment paper, wax paper, butcher paper, just some kind of paper that we're going to spread the pork on and it's also going to help us roll up the sausage when we're done, okay? So I'm just gonna, let's see what's the easiest way to do it. Probably just cut it open and we're just gonna squeeze everything out onto the parchment paper. All right, now we're just gonna flatten this all out here. And try to make it into a, oops. Anywhere between uh, yeah, around a half inch, maybe quarter to half inch thick. We're gonna kind of try to make it into a square. 
to facilitate rolling it into a roll. All right, there we go. Next, I'm gonna hit it up with a little bit more of the seasoning, whatever rub you want, but don't go crazy. We just wanna season a little bit in the inside. There we go. And now here is the filling we did earlier. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> and take your time, okay? That's why you need some kind of paper here. Let me see if I can move it over here a little bit. All right, so we're gonna slowly start using our paper, our parchment paper or wax paper or butcher paper. You're just gonna fold it over like so and kind of peel the paper back as you go along, as you can see. Rolling it around. Let's see, roll it back the other way. And now we just want to make, you know, use your hands. That's why it's good to have a pair of gloves on. We're going to form this into a nice loaf. We want to make sure that none of the filling is sticking out. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, and then one more time, quick sprinkling of the seasoning. All right. I'm going to wrap it up like this and stick it in the fridge while I show you guys how to do the baking wheel. So I'll go throw this in the fridge. We'll be back in a second with the bacon. All right, so now we're going to do the bacon weave. Also use some uh, paper on the bottom here. I got a new sheet of parchment paper. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the weave. So you're going to alternate with pieces. So you're going to take every other piece and fold it back. Now you'll see there's some gaps here. The bacon isn't perfectly flush with each other. And that's fine because as this, it cooks, it's going to slowly shrink. So, okay, there's our first piece. Now what we're supposed to do is to fold back the opposite sides. I'm just kind of doing it here like so. And once you've done it a couple times, you'll get the hang of it. It's not very complicated. I'm going to stretch that other piece here. Now we'll lace those around. Just like so. Then we'll go the opposite sides again. And just go all the way down until you got a nice square of bacon. A nice bacon weave. I'll show you one, one more bacon here. Cross like so. So there you go. That's how it should look like when it's all done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine across by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got a nine by eight piece. Might do more or less depending on the size of your bacon. Now we're going to sprinkle just a little bit more of the seasoning on top. Just a little. Like so. And now we're going to take our roll here. And I'm, you know what, I'm just trying to make it a little bit fatter and not as long because I want the bacon to wrap around all sides of this. So easier said than done. I'm just going to roll it. Onto the weave. Whoops. There we go. All right. 
and just spend a few minutes kind of tightening it up. It's a little soft now because it's been out of the fridge for a while. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing we did with the roll. We're going to tilt the wax paper. We're going to push down. I should say parchment paper. Slowly peel back. You can see the bacon sticking. Okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this. All right. Just to make it super easy to remove this from my pit barrel, I'm going to roll this bad boy onto a little rack here. Like so. And this will shrink down a little bit as it starts to heat up that bacon. Look at that. Let's push everything in. Yeah, there's some sausage that's visible from the sides, but it's because my roll was a little bit on the, on the fat side. <laughs> but that's okay. And then last but not least, a little bit of rub on the outside. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take in my pit barrel. If you don't have a, a pit barrel, you can do it in any kind of smoker. But just because we have so much bacon here, and of course you want the bacon to crisp up, you know, I, I would try to go 270 to 300 degrees. Because if you go any lighter than that, I don't think the bacon is going to fully cook. All right. Let's just roll it over real quick. Get that underside. I'm going to be using a mixture of uh, applewood and hickory on a 50-50 blend. It's one of my favorite combos. All right, there it is. I'm going to go stick this in the refrigerator because uh, I have to go outside and light up my uh, pit barrel. And, you know, it takes around a half hour for the charcoal to warm up. I'm also going to have a drink before I go out there with my kids. So I'm just going to go stick this in a rack. Uh, I'll put it on the tray in the fridge. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I just lit the charcoal outside. It's going to take 20 minutes. Time for a drink review. I'm still on keto. By the way, this sausage roll is keto friendly, but this is a natural light seltzer. I've been enjoying these seltzer waters. Seems like every week there's a new company. This is Aloha Beaches. When mango and peach go beach mode. The one that caught my attention on this one, and I don't know if it shows it on this big can, but it's 6% alcohol. Does it say here? I don't know if you can see. 6% alcohol. So that's what I'm having. And this is my son, Kyle, and my daughter, Ava Grace. Say hi. Hi. Ava Grace is trying something she's never tried. She loves these Bolt House Farm smoothies. But this is actually a chocolate protein shake. And she doesn't get that much protein in her diet, so I thought this would be good. And she likes chocolate. And she's liked every single, single thing from Bolt House Farm. And where are they made? Um... In Bakersfield, where Aunt Britt lives. Where Aunt Britt lives, yes. And then my son is having Always Ask for Avery's uh, Kitty Piddle. Kind of looks like Kitty Piddle. Piddle, I think, is another word for pee uh, pee, peasin. <laughs> but it's actually a pineapple orange soda. Thank it's God. soda disgusting. Totally gross soda. Kitty piddle. So that that's what's kind of like. Oh, All right. So Kyle, you uh, you pour your own soda. Your totally gross right. soda. I might add. It says it right on the top. Yes, it's very gross. <laughs> and I'm very gonna get gross. Ava Grace's. You like chocolate, right, Ava Grace? I love chocolate. You love chocolate? Yeah, it's good. All right. Let's see. Oh, smell. Uh, Ooh. That smells like Atkins chocolate. You know, guys, that uh. Oh, the Atkins. Keto, that keto milkshake. 
for keto be purple. Yeah, we drink these. Uh, they're made by Atkins, but they're the shakes you can have. These are made by Atkins. No, no, no. I'm just telling the telling the viewers what you were talking about. Oh, Kyle, it's spilling yeah, over. See, you gotta be careful. There's some for everything. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get a, a napkin. We'll get a paper towel here. Lift up your, lift up your glass. Oh, no, lift the, the glass. Are in here. Okay. There's. Yeah, we'll just oh. leave that there. Okay. It doesn't say it's just chocolate. Just chocolate. And I'm having the Aloha Beach, which it looks like a mango and peach salsa water. These are very low calorie, and they're pretty tasty on a hot day. It's pretty hot. I'm starting to get a little sweaty here. Yeah, it is. I'm not even hot yet. All right. My hands were cold while getting back home from getting some. Oh, from lunch, swimming? From getting lunch. Oh, okay. All right, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my video. Cheers. Cheers to my viewers. Come on, everyone. Cheers and cheers to us. All right. Thanks, guys. Let's all try and see what we say. You try. Okay. That's good. All these seltzer waters, I don't taste the alcohol, but they're very, it's like a sparkling water with just a tinge of fruit flavors. And they got all kinds of fruit flavors. I always like peach, like peach tea, so I thought I'd try this one. It's not bad. It certainly doesn't taste like 6% alcohol, I'll tell you that. This tastes like a Fanta, just like with like a pineapple aftertaste. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, that sounds pretty good. Well, that's what it is, right? Pineapple orange? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that sounds good. And, Ava Grace, how's your Bolt House Farms chocolate protein shake? So, um, I think, so it kind of tastes like my Boost Kid one. And you know, I have a medicine drink called Boost Kid, and they have chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry flavors. And it tastes more like the one they have chocolate. Oh, okay. Is that a kid's drink you have? Well, I kind of think it yeah, tastes this like will chocolate. Be my, this will be my most favorite oh, drink of all from Bolt House Farms. This is? Yes. Your favorite? Wow. Man. You Dude, get this more often. Yeah. <laughs> I'm running out of flavors. I think we tried them all. I'll have to go online and see if they have other flavors. Maybe I can order some. All right, guys. Beautiful. I'm going to enjoy my drink. I'll meet you guys Thank outside you. when we throw it on the pit barrel. Oh, cheers to the viewers. Cheers, cheers to the viewers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Thank, Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. I know how to turn All the right. camera on. You want to or not? All right. These coals are ready. All right. We'll be back in a little bit. All right. Let's take a look. I think this is ready to go. Take that out just for a second. I got some uh, wood chips here, so. Of course, we're going to sprinkle some. Apple and hickory. Alright. Alright. Here we go. And I'm going to put a couple temperature probes. One there. One on this end, might as well. It's a dual probe. Okay. All right, get those uh, rods in because those chips are all catching on fire. All right, get that lid on. Hopefully, get that start smoking. All right, so let's see what we got here. Uh, I got to set 165 is when it's going to be done. One's at 50, one's at 48. So let's see, let me, uh, all right, 153 for each one. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. You can see 
starting to smoke a little bit. We'll come back and check on it in around a half hour. All so. right, we're just past an hour. One's showing uh, 136, one's showing 126. There's still a nice smoke coming out. So let's take a look here. Yeah, man, it looks good. The bacon already looks done. Eh, not quite. You know, after I glaze it, you can always leave the lid cracked a little bit if you really want to put some intense heat, kind of get the, those coals going to crisp up uh, the bacon a little bit. But, man, I have to say, I'm very happy with what I see. It looks wonderful. So I think we're almost there. Probably going to take another half hour, 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, we're at an hour and a half, and the thing just went off. 150, 157. I think it's time to possibly start glazing some barbecue sauce. Perfect time, because it's getting dark out here. I hope you guys can see. We've got a little bit of sunlight left. Ooh, let's take a look. All right. You know what, I was concerned about that bacon getting uh, crispy, but uh, I don't think we have to worry about that. It looks great. And you know what, I'm going to just do a double check on the temperature here. Oh, be quiet. I'm going to have to reset the temperature. Let's just go, I, I want to go first just into the sausage, the first layer. See where we are there. Okay. Yeah, ooh, it's getting hot. Okay, so yeah, you know, we're around 153, and it's going to be done at 165, so it's going to take 10 to 12 minutes before it's done. So you know what, I'm going to uh, go inside, grab the barbecue sauce, I'll be out here, <laughs> and reset that to 165, <laughs> I'll be back in a second. So I just wanted to show you guys, in case you're interested, since I'm on keto, I'm trying this sugar-free hickory barbecue sauce, which I've tried before. Uh, he makes a lot of stuff. He makes uh, low-carb ketchup, mustard sauce, really good stuff, I have to admit. And this is like two full tablespoons, has two grams of carbs. So really, really good. Okay. And we're just going to start glazing now with some barbecue sauce. This barbecue sauce is already the same color of the bacon. It's nice and brown, but I guess if you had a more of a red type of barbecue sauce, it would take on a different tint. Remember when I did uh, bacon wrapped uh, smoked meatloaf? Uh, yeah, it was bright red. It was tasty too, but yeah, it just depends what kind of sauce you get. All right. So that's it. We're just going to coat some on the front and the rear. We're almost there probably be ready in the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Make sure I get some on the sides too. Alright. We'll give it some time. Let that sauce caramelize. We'll be back in a minute. Alright, I think it's pretty much done. Let's just do a couple quick uh, independent temperature readings. I apologize, it's kind of dark. I didn't want to bring the light out. I think it's pretty much done, so I didn't want to bother. Let's see. Just kind of hold it with the one with the glove on it. 160. 161. Okay, that's good. That'll carry over if I just take it off and cover it with foil. Let's see this. 158. 0.7, 158.7, almost, let's see over in the scent, 156, 159, 161, all right, that's, okay, I think, you know what, oh, Dixie here, someone in the park, I'm going to put the cover on tight, I'm going to give it another couple minutes, and then I will meet you guys inside, all right, here we are, I just moved it to the cutting board, Oh, it smells so good. It looks so good. All right, we're going to slice into this. And of course, taste it. Be back in a second. All right, here we are. I'm just going to cut slices, but first I'm just going to cut down the middle. It's been sitting for around 15 minutes, so let's see here. Oh, man. 
Okay. Are you ready to see this here? Let's see. Oh man. Look at that. Oh, it smells good. All right. All right, I sliced a few pieces for us to sample. But boy, look at this, man. Oh, it's got a nice little smoke ring. Oh, man. Bacon's nice and crispy on the outside. Wow. Talk about a nice snack. All right. Be back in a second and give this a sample. All right, welcome back. I'm here with my wife, Monica, my hey son, guys. Kyle. Hello. I've sliced them up here. Mm. So each grab a fork and I got a napkin, too. Let's just take a piece. I, some some is just the pork and the bacon. Okay. And some's got the filling, so. And I put some of that uh, low-carb barbecue sauce on it. Mm. That's good. That's good. I, did, I was trying to visualize what it would taste like. Mm. It's like stuffed jalapeno meats. Meats. Barbecue pork. Oh, I can definitely <laughs> taste the smoke too. What do you think? Mm. What do you think? I'll try a piece with the uh, inside the uh, Greek cheese. And it's zippy, but not too zippy. That's actually really good. It tastes like um, it's like it tastes like a sausage, and then you stuff it with cheese. It's like it doesn't taste like jalapeno. It doesn't have spice. It just kind of tastes like bell pepper, you know. I think well, it's, it's a little, got a little bit of a kick. Right. True story though, I came home bacon. from the store earlier and he was just cutting the jalapenos or he had just cut them. And I, I was like across the room and I breathed it into my throat. I was hacking up a lung. Of course mm. he thought it was Rona, but it wasn't. Anyways. And this recipe is this very good. versatile. Right, you can stuff it. Mm -hmm. I saw someone did a cheesesteak. They actually sliced the, uh, you know, uh, beef and sauteed it. Well, that would be good Put it too. inside. I mean, you could put... Whatever you want inside, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> this is really, really, really oh boy, creative. I think it's very good. It's tasty. It's definitely got that zip of the jalapeno poppers. That's a very unique dish. It does. Mm. It's a very unique dish. It's very clever. Mm. It looks very good, too. Very presentable. As always, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. I would also love it if you would consider subscribing. And I'll leave the link above to uh, my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com. Thanks again for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. What do you think, Kyle? Done. Is it too hot? Mm, no. Okay. Try a piece with the green in it. I did.